From the pages of science fiction stories to cinema and television screens, robots are no longer a thing of imagination. The continuous developments and advancements in robotics have opened ways for humanoids that are rapidly increasing and have gained significant attention in recent years. Robotics are increasingly using female humanoid robots, or gynoids, in their work. These AI robotic ladies can be employed for a variety of purposes, including amusement, friendship, and even sexual fulfillment. They're created to imitate real women in both appearance and conduct. Female humanoid robots have appeared in films, TV shows, and video games. They're frequently portrayed as elegant, highly advanced machines that are capable of carrying out a variety of jobs. Female humanoid robots are still gaining popularity, but they also bring up a variety of moral and social issues. These could also contribute to a greater devaluation of women in society, according to critics, who claim that these robots reinforce damaging stereotypes and objectify women. Others are concerned that the advancement of robotic technology may result in widespread job loss and economic inequality. Notwithstanding these reservations, the creation of female humanoid robots pushes the limits of what is feasible in the science of robotics and highlighted critical issues regarding how technology affects how we perceive gender and identity. Here are the top female AI robots from 2023. Nadine Nadine started working as a receptionist at Nanyang Technological University (NTU), so her circle of friends was limited to students, staff, and visitors to NTU's Media Innovation Lab. Nadine is one of the world's most realistic female humanoid social robots and is modeled after Professor Nadia Magnanat Thalman, so she looks and acts incredibly realistic. This robot has realistic human appearance and natural skin and hair. She also has exceptionally realistic hands. Nadine is a friendly, socially intelligent robot that greets you, makes eye contact, and remembers every good conversation you had with her. She can answer questions in multiple languages and show emotions with her gestures and her face, depending on the content of her user interaction. Nadine can recognize people she has met before and have fluid conversations with them. Nadine also has a personality, and words can hurt her mood. Nadine has a total of 27 degrees of freedom for her facial expressions and upper body movements. She can recognize everyone she meets and remembers the facts and events associated with each person. Nadine is the ideal companion when alone. She can help people with special needs, read stories, show photos, host Skype sessions, send emails, and communicate with her family. It is part of a new technology of human assistance that is desperately needed because society cannot afford to provide a full-time social worker for everyone with special needs. It can act as your personal trainer, available at any time. Junko Chihira Junko Chihira is a very realistic android robot created by Toshiba. Junko works full-time in a tourist information center in Tokyo. It is the successor of another android, Aiko Chihira, who worked as a receptionist in a department store in Japan. Earlier, Junko Chihira was only able to respond with the scripted preset speech, but from 2017, it has gained speech recognition capabilities and can respond to tourists' questions. Junko Chihira will not only work in the tourism and service industries, but she will also jump into healthcare for older people. Hitoshi Tokuda, the chief specialist of Toshiba's research and development center, informed us that it would combine the humanoid with any kind of language processing system. Junko stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, resembling a 26-year-old Japanese woman. She has been deployed at department stores and shopping malls and was created to perform customer service jobs. Chihira uses artificial intelligence to recognize faces, greet clients in a variety of languages, and answer questions. Her interactions with consumers are more engaging and natural because the way she moves and gestures mimic human behavior. The creation of Chihira and its integration into the service sector shows how AI robots can enhance consumer experiences and simplify company processes. Robots like Chihira might appear more frequently in public places and businesses as technology develops. Erica An AI robot named named Erica was created with a natural and intuitive approach to interacting with people. Erica is a conversational AI that was created by a team of researchers from the University of Tokyo. Erica employs machine learning techniques to comprehend human language and emotions. In contrast to other robots, Erica was created to have a distinct personality and the ability to convey emotions through gestures and facial expressions. Many potential uses ranging from customer service to healthcare are being considered for Erica. Researchers at Kyoto University in Japan teach humanoid robots to laugh in response to human laughter. The robot, named Erica, can detect when a person is laughing, decide if it's appropriate to laugh back, and respond with two types of laughter, a soft laugh and a louder laugh. 
The scientists then trained an algorithm to identify the basic characteristics of each type of laughter, such as small, polite laugh, and reflect them appropriately. If they thought all laughter was the same, it would react to anything, but it would not be delightful if it didn't react at all. If a robot can tell the two apart, that's a useful insight. The research team added different types of laughter to Erica's portfolio, combining her ability to process language with her ability to laugh appropriately, so that she could decide what was funny and what wasn't based on the meaning of the words. Geminoid DK This robot is a realistic twin of Henry Schaff of the University of Alborg. It is the latest iteration of the Geminoid series of ultra, realistic androids. This human robot results from a collaboration between a private Japanese firm and Osaka University, which was supervised by Hiroshi Ishiguro, the director of the university's intelligent robotics laboratory. It took nine months to craft the Geminoid DK. Not only his overall appearance was inspired, but his behavior and even the way he shrugs were also fed to the robots, and Scharf also donated the strands of his own hair to be used in the Geminoid wig. This bot is very realistic as people tend to be mistaken for the person designed to look alike. The main purpose of this creation is to make the humanoid look completely like a human. Now moving on to the next humanoid robot, Jia Jia. The University of Science and Technology of China researchers created Jia Jia, a humanoid robot that resembles a real person. She was created to resemble a young Chinese woman and she can communicate with people thanks to software that uses natural language processing. To enhance the real of Jia Jia's interactions with people, her developers also gave her facial recognition technology and the capacity to make facial expressions and movements. Jia Jia's development and capabilities highlight the potential for AI robots to be integrated into daily life in the future, even though her primary function is to be used as a research tool for researching human-robot interactions. Jia Jia is China's first humanoid robot. This Chinese humanoid robot puts on a charm in Shanghai. People worldwide admire Jia Jia for her most realistic and alluring appearance. Jia Jia is created by the University of Science and Technology research team in China. This astounding beauty can hold a normal conversation with a person with microbial facial expression. She does that with the help of speech generation algorithms and facial recognition technologies. Though her speech patterns are still not smooth, Jia Jia makes it up by looking remarkably human-like. Cloud technology controls her entire action. Jia Jia has such realistic expressions as the special emphasis was given to her eyes so that she can catch different gestures, emotions, behavior, and so on. Team leader Chen Xiaoping said proudly that with a little more effort, Jia Jia can see a bright future of her kind. Sophia Sophia is considered the most advanced humanoid robot. Sophia debuted in 2016. She was one of a kind, and her interaction with people was the most unlikely thing you can ever see in a machine. She was designed by a Hong Kong-based company, Hanson Robotics, and was created to look like Audrey Hepburn, a famous Hollywood actress, because of the creator's goal was to fit her as an old age companion in nursing homes or a crowd manager in events. Hanson Robotics created Sophia, a humanoid robot with artificial intelligence and language processing skills. She gained notoriety in 2017 when Saudi Arabia gave her citizenship, making her the first robot to do so. Sophia has been taught to converse with people, identify faces, and decipher emotional expressions. Also, she has participated in events, discussion programs, and news broadcasts where she has demonstrated her skills and interacted with viewers. Although the advancement of Sophia and her potential uses in a variety of fields are intriguing, several experts have expressed worries about the moral ramifications of giving robots citizenships and their potential effects on society. Sophia is the world's first robot citizen and the first robot innovation ambassador for the United Nations Development Program. The purpose of creating Sophia was to make a robot capable of gaining social skills. Sophia has been embedded with neural networks and artificial intelligence to recognize human faces and understand their gestures and emotions. She can also interact with different people and also respond appropriately. ISRO's Humanoid Robot for Gaganyan Mission The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has recently unveiled a humanoid robot for its Gaganyan mission. The organization is working on a space program that is intended to send human beings to space by 2022. However, before sending humans to venture out into space, ISRO is sending out a humanoid robot named Viam Mitra by the end of this year. Viam Mitra is a female humanoid robot who is going to space. As there is no female on board, the Gaganyan mission, when it finally takes off in 2022. 